I'm really excited because there's only one week until the best weekend of the whole year. The weekend where we remember how the Lord Jesus Christ came and died for us and rose again from the dead. And in the run up to that week, I want us to be thinking about how great this Jesus really is. Uh, maybe you remember some of the stories uh, we've spoken about him. Uh, maybe you remember uh, some of his miracles. Maybe you've got a favourite one which you could tell the people you're with. Um, do you remember the things that he said? How he told us that he is the son of God. That everything belongs to him because he made it all. And that he deserves all our praise and our love and our amazement. Well, I want to start that week by looking at a story that happened a week before that great weekend. It's a story that you'll find in Luke chapter 19 or in Matthew chapter 21. Why don't you ask someone uh, to read that with you tonight before you go to bed? Um, in that story, uh, Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. And as he's on his way there, he went through a little place called Bethphage. And he went there uh, up a, a stony path. See the stones? I got these stones in my house because one of my neighbours thinks he's funny and posts them through my letterbox. Well, here's these stones going up the path. And as Jesus was going up that path, there were people all around. And they took their cloaks, which is like a coat. This is my coat. And they cut branches down from the trees like these. I cut these down this morning in my garden. And they took their cloaks and they threw them on the floor. And they took the branches and they threw those on the floor. And what they were doing was they were making a path. They were making a way for their king to come. You see, they were amazed by Jesus. They worship him. They praise him. They say, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. But when Jesus comes, this, this great and awesome king, we see in this story that he comes sitting on a little donkey. He doesn't come in a limo or a private jet. Well, they, they didn't exist in those days. But he didn't even come in the best things they had in those days. He didn't come on a big horse. He didn't come in a big chariot with, uh, with soldiers all around him. Uh, Jesus came humble on a donkey Jesus now he's way better than anyone else better than the greatest of kings but you know when Jesus came he didn't come to show off how great he was so that people would feel bad Jesus came to people like us who are so much smaller than him and who've actually done things that are wrong and we should be ashamed of and he came to be with people like us, people uh, the Bible calls sinners. That is, those who don't love God with all their hearts as they should, and who do what they should not do because they don't love God. Jesus came to be with people like that. And when he'd been to this place called Bethphage, on his donkey, he carried on up into Jerusalem. And when he went to Jerusalem, he carried on being humble. He carried on all the way to the cross. And on the cross, he was humiliated. It was embarrassing. It was painful and nasty. And on the cross, he was punished for all that I had done wrong, all my sin. He humbled himself to that point to be with me in my lowest state. And he died on the cross for me. But then, three days later, he rose again from the dead. And today he's alive forever. And do you know what's amazing? Having been uh, all the way through the horrible things that happened on the cross and coming out and rising again, he didn't forget people like us. 
but he has risen again so that he can take us with him and we can enjoy that uh, life forever with him. Jesus came to be with sinners and to take sinners to be with him. This Jesus is amazing. He deserves all our love, all our amazement, all our praise. But you know, he will have all our praise. Some of the people who were there uh, when he went through Bethphage didn't like what was happening. And they said to Jesus, stop the people saying these things and worshipping you. Do you know what Jesus said? He said, if I tell them to stop and they do, even the stones will start crying out and praising me. He's so wonderful. He can't not be praised. And he will be forever. The question is, will you praise him? Will you love him? Are you amazed by him? Are you amazed with Jesus? And do you realise how much you need him? To take you out of all your sin. uh, So you can be with him forever. Do you know, this story tells us, and next week's stories are going to tell us as well, That Jesus came to be with people like us and to take us to be with him. Do you need him? Are you amazed by him? If so, then just ask him. Ask him. And go on to live for him. And you can be with him forever.